So while windmills may be the most interesting thing in the world to me, I understand that that's not the case for everybody. And so I do try to kind of tailor my content somewhat to make the things that I'm doing somewhat more accessible, uh, make it seem like less of a niche thing, something that anybody could be doing if they wanted to be, um, or at least something that, you know, inspires you to do something creative, right? So this little PC fan windmill was a little project that I was working on originally just because I was trying to think of content to make for Instagram reels, because um, apparently short form content is the new gold. Um, but that wasn't really the case for me. But anyway, so I, I was I was talking about how you can uh, spin any fan basically, and it will make power, right? Because you apply power to them, they spin. You spin them, they make power. If the wind spins them, they make free power, right? So I started talking about that, and, and somebody in the comments was like, "Well, you're technically right, but it, it wouldn't actually work." And so naturally, being as petty as I am, I felt the need to actually make it, right? So. I don't feel the need. I don't feel the need, though, to declare this windmill twenty one. Um, I also said in an Instagram story, just because this was a little side project. It took me, you know, probably half an hour to design. It's really, it's really dumb, but it works really well. I mean, it does work. You could definitely expand on this. Um, Robert Murray Smith, a YouTuber that I, I really, really love, has a video where he makes like a wall of PC fans, and he puts it outside, and they they can be hooked up either in. I, I think. I can't remember if he hooked them up in series or parallel, but I mean, when you scale things like this, yes, you do get you do get a significant amount of power coming out of them. When it's just one like this, it's more of a this was more of a proof of concept, is what I was going for here. So yeah, that's the PC fan windmill. Uh, it's looking like if we're lucky, there's going to be some wind blowing in tonight. So I'll get the multimeter out and I'll actually show. Uh, it looks like this will probably get somewhere in the range of two to maybe five volts if we're lucky, and not that many milliamps. But again. Proof of concept, it's mostly uh, to get people interested, right? I, I, the whole point of this is I want to inspire people to do things that are cooler than the things that I do. Because I have no doubt that everybody watching this is equally capable, if not more so than I am, at making cool things. So the goal is not to make something, you know, there, there are plenty of people more talented than I, and I love watching their videos and, and seeing their projects, right? My goal isn't to make these wonderful things and show you. My goal is to inspire you to try to make some of your own things so that I can be impressed by them, right? So anyway, along that same vein, the reason that I say all of that is because my first couple windmills, people were saying, hey, can you post the file? Can you post the files? And I started thinking, well, I, I kind of want to, but I also want to be making money off of this somehow, so maybe I'll sell the files um, and so you can buy them. I am sort of conflicted on the whole. I know the 3D printing community especially has a real inclination towards posting files and projects and stuff for free to anybody that wants it. I have reservations about that. I don't know why. Maybe it's my own pride. I still don't really know how I feel about posting the projects, the files for my other windmills. So it's it, it's hard for me for several reasons. But that being said, this little thing, you know, this took me 20 minutes to design in Fusion 360. So I'll be posting this for free. Uh, in the description of this video, you can go check out these files, print it yourself. I don't feel particularly attached to this little piece of intellectual property because it took so little of my intellect to create this property. So I don't care. Make it yourself. Go upcycle some PC fans that you just have laying around otherwise. It's a very cool upcycling project. I think if you had a, a kid in a science fair or something like that, that would be a very cool project. Documenting different wind spades. I don't know. There's There's a lot you could do with that. But point being that this one I don't really feel like is my project necessarily. It's just kind of something that I did and any of you could do. And I want you guys to do this one. Um, and I'm definitely not going to be going back and changing the files. So just take it, you know, just, just make it, just take it. I don't want it. <laughs> and here it is in CAD, right? So pretty simple stuff. This fin was just a real, you know, hand wavy sort of thing. I just, I just put that together. You know, in, in hindsight, I think the axis of the, I, I think the fin should be aligned with the center of the mount, and that's not the case here, but because this is such a small scale, I don't think it matters that much. But I think if you're going for first, if you're going for the ideal way to do it, the correct way to do it, I think you'd want to somehow offset it or just make it um, symmetrical down the, down the center there. That's uh, since I started doing windmills. That's that's one of the biggest takeaways that I've had that I, I found is interesting is that yes, making the windmills is very fun, but getting people's input and interacting with people who even if they're not as into this as I am, but they see this and different people have different perspectives and they think different things and they say, well, what if you tried this? And I think, wow, I wouldn't have even thought to try that. 
but let me try it. And then it works. And I, I found that I found that process to be very rewarding. So right now we've got more or less head on winds of six miles an hour with gusts up to 12 miles an hour. Uh, and this was spinning just a second ago. And of course it stopped as soon as I hit record. There's a video that I did not long ago where I was trying to answer the question, should windmills have flywheels? And I said that for most of my windmills, I, I, was kind of, I was kind of definitive on something that I haven't really tried before. But on this one, this one is very obvious that it would do well because it doesn't like to start. So a little flywheel on this one would be amazing. So we're getting up to a third of a volt there now. We got a good little breeze just now. But like I said, I mean, if you think of the scale of this thing, this thing is really small, especially compared to the other turbines that I've built. The benefits of this is that it's kind of an all-in-one package, it's ready to go, and you probably have one of these lying around. In fact, if you got one of them lying around, chances are you probably got two or three. So that'd be even more fun that, you know, you could, these holes, they've got holes on, on both sides, these little, these little PC fans. So what you could do is you could just make a little bracket that adds them together, which I, I think that would be very cool. And you could do that without changing the design very much. You can see because of the, uh, because of the magnets in there, that, that little propeller doesn't really like to start. But once it starts, it does okay. So again, this one, flywheel, totally. I could totally see why it would be necessary, um, but you would have to kind of tread a thin line because if the flywheel was too heavy, that would just make it even harder to start. So, but you win some, you lose some. You know, I've said that that's why I like windmills so much is because not, there is no one design that is the best. You know, it depends completely on your wind conditions, where you're mounting it. You know, like I've said, I do all of these on my balcony. So there are some considerations that I take because I'm here that I wouldn't take if I was in, you know, an open field. So that's what we've got with the PC windmill. You'd probably want three to five of these in series to get anything realistic in terms of current out of this thing. Um, and the wind is just not cooperating. So I think that's all we're gonna get for tonight. There's a good gust to send us off, but still pretty cool. And if you had a good windstorm blow in, uh, this would be actually producing pretty good current, I bet, if, if you got good winds head on on this thing. Because, I mean, six miles an hour, seven miles an hour, that's pretty low wind speeds, honestly. It's pretty average, if not on the low end of, of what I get around here. So, not bad. Also, I know I said last thing already, but real last thing this time, I got my favorite light blue box from a company that will not be named because they don't sponsor me. Just kidding, it's JLC PCB. Um, not sponsored. So don't go there unless they sponsor me. But uh, I finally got those rectifying boards that I've been talking about for like three videos. So I'm gonna hopefully unbox them and put a couple together tonight. And if I'm lucky, that will go hand in hand with that. Well, the windstorm is still blowing in. It's still, uh, it's gonna get better or worse depending on who you are, better if you're me, uh, as the night goes on. So I'm gonna hurry and go build one right now after I upload this video. And ho hopefully we'll get some real power readings for the first time since I started this channel. So that's super exciting. Anyway, subscribe and like if you're not already, but I know you are because you're cool because you're here.